Yeah, what's yeah. up, it's your boys, your grown ass men's <laughs> JD and Dave, right here with right now another edition of No Country. No Country. Uh, actually, it's our first interview edition, and we got a special, super special guest, you know. But it's more than a guest because he actually kind of family friend to the show before it was the show. Yeah, but we're gonna get into that. But you don't know what No Country is, we're gonna tell you right now. It is the platform where we look around the socio-political pop economic culture and say Thanos was right. Yeah. That's where we at right now with it. It might change every day, but that's where we at right now. And this is No Country with JD and Dave. Uh, like I said, we got a special guest. We ain't going to waste time. We're going to bring them right in because it's somebody that anybody in this space should know. Got a lot going on. Dave, what's up? Dude, Yo, man, you. this is this is this is this is fam right here, man. Known him for a real long time, but um, you know, all of y'all should know him too. Um, you know, I want to give him the proper lead up. So, you know, like he, he in 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 a lot of fields, he's a legend, man. Seriously, like he's been on radio for a, a minute. You know, what I'm saying they got the Dish Nation show rocking right now. Um, in a lot of spaces, he's a he's an underground rap legend, you know what I'm saying? Especially specifically Dallas and kind of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Uh had cracked the gap, man. Um he's got yeah. a lot of and we're gonna bring him in, man. Let's go. What's hey, up, brothers? Yeah. JD and Dave, no country. It's so good to be here, man. Like, yo, country, like baby. I felt Let's the go. vibes through the screen, man. It's love, yeah. man. For we sure, getting for it, sure. man. Look, we we it's we, a long we time coming, man. Fourteen. And we got you here, so we doing something right, man. That's what's up. Right. You know what Yo, I'm saying? Yo, man, you're building something great over there, the both of y'all, for real, for real. Hey, yeah, man. Trying to well, do it. Trying to do it. That's what it is. So we here for the night. We rocking out. Um, No country. Y'all know how we do. Um, First off, let's get in, uh, talk to our guests real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just so that everybody's acquainted real quick. We got a head crack. I mean, you know, this audience right now, everybody should already know something, if not everything already about crack. But crack, tell us right now, uh, give us the basic rundown, then we're going to get a little deeper. But first, you know, where you from, what you do, uh, how you been, man, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with you? Yeah, I'm a mutt. I'm a citizen of Earth, originally from the Bronx, New York, you know what I mean? Um, you know, did some time in Texas, doing time currently in Atlanta. Um, you know, some people know me from my radio show, The Morning Hustle. Some people might have known me before that from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Sure. Um, also, I got the TV show Dish Nation. But, you know, more than anything, it's the rap music space that really, like, uh, you know, my, my dearest friends all came from the rap music space. That's how I know Dave. Um, that's how I know his wife, Money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that Stacks on the board. Yeah, it's that community that, you know, that really, like, you know, helped me find my peer group. Because, like, you know, you know, y'all both been in the industry. Industry people are kind of whack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the motherfucker. We know it. You know we what I'm saying? It. Like, I would rather hang with people who know who all nine people of the Wu-Tang are and uh, can, like, you know, quote Red Man lyrics, you know, more so than people who went to the freshest party last night. Right. right. For sure. And, uh, and the ones that can quote the tenth member too. So like those, those are the special ones. Very special, <laughs> right? Right. And well, let me see. Y'all two, y'all have known each other for a while now. Um, I, like me, me, and you were saying earlier, we've heard about each other through you know through the through them, you know, Stacks and Dave. Um, however, it's funny because I was just mentioning that when I saw you on Dish Nation. And, you know, like, I mean, whether it's, you know, the black TMZ, you just catching stuff, you, it's certain stuff that just resonate. And I was like, yo, that's a dude that I could see, like, being in, like, our circle and, like, I could see, like, we'll hang out with him and da-da-da. Come to find out, you on my my brother already, like, squad like that. that was Locked crazy. in. So, Yo, work. it's funny when that sort of stuff comes together because, like, I also have a short wish list too of people that, like, you know, like, yo, I feel like we would hang out if we knew each other in real life. Like, yo, like, I've rocked with your acting work for a long time, JD. And, um, you know, and then another person that I would love to bring into the fray. Do y'all know, um, uh, what's my man, Destroy from The Arsonist? I heard of him. Yo, he seems like another oddball person that would fit right in this group <laughs> that is kind of into a lot of the same things that we're into, but yeah, I don't know him like yeah. that. And the crazy thing is, like, Bro. South South by Southwest, I was talking to a guy for 15 minutes. I thought it was him, and it wasn't. 
Yo, I haven't heard that name in so long, bro. I don't know why it feels like forever since I heard Arsonist. I don't know. I think it used to be a crazy group. And now Destroy is kind of like, you know, he's doing his own thing. He's only on satellite radio and whatnot. He does a thing called Show Off Your Gems. I think I follow him on on IG. I think the the, the Fuck Your Couch page follows him. He's a Hispanic dude, right? Yeah, Yeah, yeah. I Yo, know he, he do a thing every now and then where like he's like, "Yo, show off your gems," and you gotta like bring the weirdest thing that you have in your house to show off. Like, and it's like like hip hop nostalgia stuff, toys, things yeah. like that. I heard yeah. of that. He fit yeah. right in. And, and yeah, this is cool. this is the, the the world was already small, but obviously the internet made it smaller. And we in the hive mind right now. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, we got our brother Head Crack right here chilling out with us, and we got some. Insanity that we need to go ahead and get on, get to. Let's yeah. get um, it. So, right, so. The, 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 the title of this right here, right here, is a uh, Mighty Joe Young in it. You know. Oh, okay. the, the, so, 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 crack. Right now, this is this is some viral shit that cracked up earlier today. I don't know where it came from. It looked like it's like uh, India or like a Middle Eastern, Gotta be or something India, like that. Bro. But uh, let let let's get into it right quick. Yeah, no explanation needed. <laughs> Don't do it. Back up. Get him off you. No, oh, oh, this is leg. great. You got the leg. No, why are you holding the wait? Why was why is he holding on to the bar? Why he got the leg? You fucking kick it off. Kick it off. <laughs> Oh, then he got the shirt. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, this reminds me of like a Planet of the Apes deleted scene after they tore that nigga season sweat off, and he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna get my outfit back out. Like I'm too fly to be here naked." Yo, they gave bro. that nigga. They gave that nigga Molly, bro. Like he, he just wanted nah. to touch him. He wanted hey, yo, to touch I him real aggressive. Crack. I agree with you. The the orangutan was too deliberate. He he went for the shirt, then he went for the sweet. Ain't you about to do a fight? Yo. He oh, went for see? the sweet, man. He went for the sweet. <laughs> and then he got the leg. And look, it's another part of the video. Well, I don't know if we got that, but it's another part of the video when they finally kind of get him away. He got the toe. He almost got the toe yeah, right like, in his mouth, yeah, man. He, was he like, got away. Yeah. He got away. <laughs> Yo. And, Yo. And this is one more thing. I'm the person that think everybody, when you're messing with animals like that, Get your upcomings. I think you yeah. should get it. Oh, yeah. You should get the animal results every time. I know y'all saw that video that popped off about a week or two ago where, like, the dude was, like, you know, trying to stick his hand in the lion mouth, and that dude came back with just, like, a nub. Yeah, that, that's what happens. As you should. That's what happens. Wow. That's what happens. That's not even worthy of, like, some explanation. Like, when, when, when your man right there go and get his shit snapped off and put back <laughs> together like a Lego figure... And people asking him questions down the line, he can't even do a sob story and shit. Because all he got to do is be like, "Well, I was fucking with orangutan. Say no more. Say no more." Like, like that's the prognosis. The prognosis is <laughs> orangutan. That's 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 what it was. You was fucking that's with it. orangutan. This you you got all close. That nigga want a selfie now because he like, "Hey, come here. We cool, right?" <laughs> We yeah. do, we do. Hey, yo, people we underestimate like you know the whole ape gorilla orangutan kingdom because like all they do is like pull themselves up so it's all <laughs> upper body strength right like you don't typically see them with their hair shaven it's all muscular and vascular <laughs> veins and and people be shocked when they realize how powerful they are like i'm exercising all day all, all day. day you Just go to the I gym sleep, twice a month i'm exercising i might sleep upside down sorry at one point, he had the foot on him too. Did y'all see that shit? He had the <laughs> arms and the foot. Oh, hold on. You got a whole, you got a whole nother human ass being trying to pull this motherfucker away, and you can't get rid, you can't let go of the grip of the two arms and the foot at the same. You need to stay twelve <laughs> feet away from these niggas at all times. We clearly, back, we need to take it back real quick because first off, we need to ask ourselves, <laughs> what did that ape want? <laughs> Yo, look. What, he what, what was he it, after? See, like he started with out. the shirt. He's grabbing on the shirt. Look, look. And that was the perfect, that was the funniest and the most perfect caption I saw. Should have just gave him the shirt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was it Bape? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Because then it turned into the pants. Then it turned into something else. It looked like it turned into something else. 
by yo, the he's... time he was ready to get away, it could have just been the shirt. He was like, hey, yo, come here. Let me, what that shirt say? Come here, motherfucker. Let me see that shit. <laughs> yo, that <laughs> shit was like, that shit was like street harassment, though. Real talk. Like It was like my the man work. had the last H&M shirt with the monkey on it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yo. I need that for something. I need that for something. I need that for something. Besides shoes of those. <laughs> Man, yo, yeah, the, the everything, everything coming off. Everything listen, off. He was on listen. some Annie up. Annie up. <laughs> he was going to pull that motherfucker through the bars like Play-Doh if, 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 if he gave him enough opportunity. <laughs> I, was kinda, oh, I was here oh, for that. We're forgetting, I don't know if you heard it, Crack, but we're forgetting the screams. The crying screams of the man as he was getting no, dragged no, no. And, and molested by this ape. Did you hear it, Crack? No, you got to run that back. Oh, bro. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that, uh, that little watermark out of there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you hear him tear his ass in fear? Do you? Did you it, was, it, it was the helpless the whimper the part, for me. But we need to stay focused on the screen. <laughs> Yo, Haji took an L that day. Haji. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. What was Johnny Quest, man? Johnny Quest is supposed oh. to hold him down, man. Hobby. No, no, but look, his homie on the on the fourth tenth hundredth watch, his homie was right. His homie did as much as he could, but I'm not getting grabbed, bro. That wasn't his, his homie. homie. That, that nigga worked at the zoo. <laughs> bro, <laughs> he was just passing by like over there, bro. Before another stupid motherfucker getting molested by this goddamn come here, bro. man. Back yeah. like, he he <laughs> ain't really had vested interest other than making sure that it, it wasn't another body that King Louis bro. fought that day. He gave him leverage. He ate some leverage to get off. <laughs> he gave him leverage. The Stop fact that both of them Stop couldn't playing. get no inchage, you no, know, like, with the toe. No, no, no. I'm telling you, man, this. one day the apes will run everything, man. Like, yo, I, I'm wait, I'm waiting for the moment. It'll be, and it'll be justified. It'll be fucking justified. <laughs> whoever, whoever, whatever we lose the planet to is going to be justified. It don't yeah, even matter. Yeah, like, it, yeah. From aliens down to bacteria, it don't matter. If we lose it to them, it's, it's definitely earned. Think we about, had a good run. You listen, think about the fact that we know there's been aliens for all this time. They just now admitting that shit. And 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 the aliens still ain't this shit. We think it's gonna be an invasion. Them motherfuckers is up in space, like you know. I mean, but what do you subscribe to? Do you subscribe to the fact that they're all coming from space, or do you like subscribe to the fact that also a lot of UFOs are actually under the water? Fuck yeah, all of it. Well, Look, if you use the word we don't know UFO, shit about this planet, mean, B. Well, it uh, comes from everywhere. cannot be under the water because how you fly under the water. Well, true. But there has been a lot of like footage of like, you know, like Google, uh, you know, that Google aerial cam seeing like, you know, crafts under the water moving around and stuff like that. And like, yeah, you know, that's like, what, yeah, when they dip down. But also to your point, crack is why they changed the name of it from UFO to that new. Yeah, it don't have to be a flying un mm -hmm. unidentified object. It's just any object because they changed the name. They don't want to use you. And that shit don't got no ring anymore. to it, though. That's why none of us know it. <laughs> UFO, UFO was a bop. UFO yeah. was a bop. They got that shit perfect. At all. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, knew, I knew it the day they told us the new name. And then after that, I like delete from yeah. memory. Yeah, it was some bullshit like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like anonymous. Um, a <laughs> phenomenon or some dumb shit like that. It was Check bad. this out, though. We men are black flash ourselves. Everybody be like, never mind. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> we be like, I heard about it, but most uh, as a you mass, know what that is? everybody they, act they, like we forgot. They got us to the point where we talk about that shit. What we're, we're thinking is crazy to even talk about it is what, you know, our stigma became. Mm -hmm. So right. we, we, 
We be like, I ain't gonna say I believe in that shit because then y'all motherfuckers gonna put me in the room with this, listen, this man. Shit. As a person who has seen a UFO with my own eyes and tried to record it and got treated to digital static on my video camera. Well, it wasn't my video camera, it was somebody I was hanging out with. Like, yeah, like no, it, it, it it's all possible, it's all out there. And even if it was some man-made shit, there's some shit that we don't know about that is just light years ahead of our shit. Because whatever man. it was, refused to be videotaped that That's night. Crazy. You're not the only person I know that, like, say, with their own eyes up close and personal, clearly saw some shit. You're not the only person I know that. Yeah, I was that. terrified because, like, you know, any other place in the sky, I pointed clear sky. Anytime we would aim at the UFO, fuzz. And what really made my skin crawl was, you ever see that movie, The, the Fourth Kind? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, about the, the, the hypnotist who would, like, you know, so there was a scene when her kid got kidnapped and they did the split screen with the cop car and like the, the real footage. And that's exactly what that footage looked like. And I'm like, yo, like I was like, I'm yo, I wasn't tripping that night because that's exactly what that shit looked like. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we I, we we talk about this on the show, you know, quite often. We touch on it. We don't really stick on it too long where we say, you know, obviously we get in prep for whatever's coming through, mm -hmm. you know, the pre-programming when we watch movies. We got this uh, ongoing ongoing little thread about like uh, what movie world that we live in there. You know, is it RoboCop right now? Is it 12 Monkeys? Is it Minority Report? We do that all the time. So it's times when they definitely give us that little bit and we see little bits of it and we live in little bits of it and we do what we do. But we talk about that all the time, man. So all of this is up on the on the table. All of this is up on the on the plate. Everything, 100%. everything 100%. is up on the plate. <clears throat> yeah, man. All right, so um, you know, from there, let's kind of get into you know what you've been going. UAP, to real quick. UAP right. is the new name for unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yes. Yeah. yeah. See, that's cheeks. That's cheeks. That don't slap. Yeah, they need to drop like a, a like a a jingle or something more like you know. I don't know. Like, it, it needs some work. Yeah, like you rebranding. You re no, because they want to make it sound worse. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like this. Like racism is not really racism because we, as humans, we all the same race. It's more speciesism, but speciesism sounds stupid, so right. we don't use that. Now, when you say UAP, that we ain't used to that. It don't sound as good. You know what I'm saying? Now that shit could drop Perfection. down. It, it, it could be a condor or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just such a wide array of things. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. That could be yeah. so, that could be a bunch of grass flying through the air. Right. <laughs> you know, like how did that happen? But that's where they're trying to take us. I ain't mean to cut you off, Dave. Go ahead. No, you, 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 you got it. So as we were talking before, you know, Crack and I've you know got a fucking twenty plus year history, man. Um, first time we met on some. On some straight up rap shit, you know the first. Do you remember the first time we met, dude? I mean, it seems like it would have been like some liquid lounge thing or like a party at Money's house, Bruh. So funny thing about that, first time I ever came to Texas, the night after that party, I never met you at that point. It okay. was a few years later. It was in New York in Times Square. Ah, you were online. To I know. Make, I know where you're going. Okay. Audition for making the fucking band. Bro. Hell yeah. To audition for making the band, yo, D, you remember the fucking um the the the, the Raiders? I mean, uh, Steelers jersey I had that expensive ass Cordell Stewart jersey. I had that shit on, and that's when me me and this cat met, and we was online for fucking hours, camped out, trying to go audition for the original making the band. I think I got four bars out. <laughs> I think money got like. Two or three, I don't know. I'm how, how many you did, but they was like next. Yeah, next. I was I was able to like yeah, because like I actually freestyled. I didn't come with no pre written, but like yeah. Craig Mack made a face. You know, like you know what I'm flavored. You know, like like <laughs> see, like Craig Mack was with it. You know, what yeah, I'm he was. but it wasn't letting the, like that Diddy and them was ready for. Like they wasn't. So, there for so the I remember, rap. and now that you bring that up, damn dog, you know who else was a judge? It was Mac and motherfucking Black Rock. Black Rob, big. Yeah, God bless the dead. Black Rob. Uh, I want to say the Harv dude, the the RPM. Hey, yeah, he was there. Like it was like, I, I, it, if I'm not mistaken, at least a hitman, if not Stevie J, was one of the, like they had. You know that bad boy, probably kind of, that 
Huh? D-Dot. Might have been. I believe if, if he wasn't a judge, D Dot was physically there. I know I seen him that day. I don't know if he was a judge, but <clears> um, yeah, man, they 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 put us to the left immediately. But then when we seen who they were trying to fuck with, I mean, like at the time we was probably still aged out past a good seven years past the, the cat I don't know because Babs is about our age. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not only that, I just what I was about to say about a new first and foremost, <laughs> if I know this, the if I hear three bars from y'all, I already kind of know the subject. If not the subject, I know how you're going to present a subject and people that's trying to just use people as instruments. And I, I really mean like sonically. Oh, I'm mean, not trying to you know, put together a group with y'all in it. You know what I'm saying? At yeah. the time. Because yeah. it's like, y'all got something to say. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's Having, like, like, gone through nuance. that, and, like, I would have completely did something different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, because, like, so many, so few people freestyle, right? That, like, you know, I, I, you know, I use that as my shield a lot of times. And sometimes it's like, you know what? You should have came with something prepared because, like, everybody else did. And, you know, like, it, it just is what it is. But, Man, I mean, back then we was all meritocratists. Remember, we was on our merit. Like, if I'm dope, you are gonna see it. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, 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 that's yeah. how we was. Yeah, and, and 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 honestly, I mean, like your level of freestyle is so fu- like, yo, D, you never heard this dude freestyle. Like, this I, is. I think I have once. I think I have once. And actually, he, is, did, he do it on Dish every now and then. Well, I don't. Was, right. so. Yeah, yeah, they got. It the was a while back. Yeah. But that's like TV rap, and then sometimes they wouldn't even like had a rap on top of the beat, like on pocket. I feel you. I know like, how I mean, go, killer army like, and still, stuff. I know like, you yo, made it work. Like I know, I, I know how I went. Yeah. I don't have. I don't have. It's funny because so crack me and JD, we met in high school, and we were act. We were actors together, okay. and we would do like you know competitions. And one of the big things was the um, act so. That was like the whole state high schools competing in drama competitions. And me and this motherfucker was going to walk away with the improv title, right? But we went too long. We didn't know when to cut it off. No, You hit, him with, the, hit him with the long way. form. We bodied him, though. We just couldn't let it go, it. bro. It was Dying. one. We was one. We just wanted to finish that one line. If we would have just stopped, we would have won. But we did. Yeah. We finished the line. Fuck Do you. y'all remember what the scene was about? It was it was us. It, it was that because they would give us predetermined. Lines. I remember this, Dave. Look, I was sitting on the couch, and it was something which you came in looking for the remote. Yeah, yeah. It was a remote. It was an improv scene. He came in looking for the remote, and then we started talking about the remote, the, the house, what was on the TV, and we was just going off that, just going, that, like going crazy. It, it, it just and we went were in front of the crowd, the judges, much. motherfucking people were from other competitions was coming in the room like yo, like yeah, and, and that's what that's what happened up. too. That's exactly what happened. That was our that was our senior year, right? Junior, junior year, because Maybe even sophomore. the same way that I got in trouble that freshman year for going on improv and wilding out that night. That's what happened to us yep. in the class. We we had all the people we was competing against cracking up, and yeah. think it about this awesome. too. We watching Martin every Sunday night. Yeah. We could not let the laughs stop. It's infectious. And we, we didn't. We was like I said. It wasn't like we went like a, a minute over. We didn't even go thirty seconds over. We went. We just finished that little bit. We was like fifteen seconds over, ten seconds over, something like that. And it was just. Yeah. We, we we still got second though. We got second yeah. place. But the but but the whole thing about that was I. My brain doesn't work in the freestyle lane like that. I don't know why. I don't know why, man. But yo, Dave, soon as you figure out, it's the same thing. Soon as you I, I figure get out, it, it's I the same it. thing. I get it, but it's too meticulous, and I got too many speech impediments and shit. Like, because I, I had like, the same problem, bro. Like, when I started trying to do improv, I'm like, yeah, there's no way I could make this stuff up. It's like, yo, you make up rhyming words, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> it is the same thing. Actually, it's a different easier. aptitude, though. It's a different aptitude, though, because the acting side of it is like letting the the concept carry you and you're not prohibited by like you know rhyming or or the all right so look now crack check this out me and dave came up in the same acting dojo right okay i try to now i i learn a lot like he's to me he's actually a, a better actor than i am like i i consider dave a more richer 
actor than I am when he does. You know what I'm saying? However, see how he puts that film of of extra thought on it and really that's not needed for not only not every character but it's not needed most of the time and that's something that and you were saying like how you had to get like all right I made this you made the bridge between like all right when I'm doing my own words and when I'm doing somebody else's that's something I like. Like I said, it's like I can say to him, but since we ain't losing, I mean, same I could compartmentalize that in the creation. Like I can write like that. Same mm -hmm. thing with the theme yeah, song. That's what I'm saying. Song, but the song joint, I know you know different structures, different vibes. It's just when I rap, it's it's it's. I'm so in my head. I have such a very precise. That's why my shit is deliberate because like I I want to say this thing. This way, but check I'm it out. This is what I was gonna say. Every time I do it, this is what I was gonna say. The main two things that correlate that, whether it's improv, acting, and rapping, or whatever it is, and you notice know <clears throat> would be the timing mm -hmm. and uh it's the timing and uh damn, I forgot the other thing. It's the but the, but the fact that the, the timing and the fact that you you already, you know, it's a comfortability level that you're going to have. Yeah, that's sure. all you got to really, you know, carry over. And that's why, like, when you're saying your own words, you're more comfortable. When it's somebody else's word, yeah. is different. However, you got to really, like, make that approach to where, like, remember, and I know you remember this about stage. That's where we started. Nobody knows we're making a mistake unless yeah, we tell them. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know. So, yeah. yeah. We got to yeah. just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'll be like, yo, I'll be playing like the most toughest dudes for the last 20 years. And I'm a little short, light skinned dude. But if you believe it, I'll sell it to you. Yeah. I mean, I can you sell, sell it, it well. I, yeah. Hey, and, and that's because I'm drawing from a bunch of other stuff. But, you know, it's like in real life, when people meet me, first off, they're like, all right, like, I'm not even me. But then on top of that, like, my personality is way, you know, inviting. I'm not in trouble. You know, so that makes me look less like I look on TV. So, yeah. you know, it's the Clark Kent glasses. Yeah, yeah. now that's yeah. that's the beauty about acting, man, and why I, I love that crab so much. And I've I've stuck my toe in it, but never like deep dove. And like once this fight is over, like I'm gonna like take auditioning seriously. I'm gonna call my acting coach back. And all that I good got stuff. Classes, bro. Come over. Oh, I, got you I will classes, definitely. Yo, I would gladly need... support that. Absolutely. Yo, we we need to do a project, man. We need to we need to get cracked down, man. Done. Like, like that's Say part less. of the, that's part of the that's part of the platform. You know, we doing with no country rebuilding out from here and the you know other shit that for years for decades me and him have been like brainstorming about, but because we've been living in different places, you know, it's been hard to connect. But now we we're, 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 all, we're all here within an hour of each other. So yeah, that's why. You know, and and if you guys get together and laugh as much as me and this guy get together and listen, laugh, like yo, this shit gonna be a hoop. That's, that's all we do. That's all we do. <laughs> For years. We do. That's it. So 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 with that being said, man, let's um kind of touch on you know a little bit more of what's going on with you. So your 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 story career as you know MC. Radio host, you know what I'm saying? Producer, uh, I you see, I got, I got the Gat, Bodega brother, because you know his his moniker was Head Crack the Gat when I first met him, which right, I was right. like, that's just fire. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But recently, you got a little foray into something different, bro. Like, um, so let's kind of dive into that, man. I find it really interesting. So you're Correct me if I'm wrong, about to do your first celebrity boxing situation. Is that right? Indeed, man. Going down June 11th, Pembroke Pines, Florida, head crack versus Baby Slice, a.k.a. Kimbo Slice Jr. Um, three rounds. It's a hell of a card. And I've been training since January, and I can't wait because- All right. Like, I got questions first. Come with it. Anywhere. How and why? Okay, so I've been watching the celebrity boxing thing for a long time, but even deeper than that, like boxing's always been in my family. Like Joe Frazier's my cousin. Um, you know, my granddad on my mom's side used to, you know, well, my mom's dad actually used to box. And like boxing was something I always kept on at the crib. And when I started seeing the celebrity boxing thing making a comeback, I was like, you know what? 
I want to be down. Because I saw some of the people that I was getting into it. And I was like, I can whoop him. I can whoop that person. So, so the why <laughs> is because you just want to fight. Because I just wanted to fight, you know, before, like, you know, <laughs> you, your bones become brittle enough to where it's not really a legitimate option. Because I'm aware of where I'm at at my point in life. I'm like Rocky Balboa, not in five, but like Rocky Balboa in six. Where yeah. you're like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to go to distance. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. For okay. sure, for sure. And because, like, you know, Kimbo Slice Jr. wasn't my initial opponent. I had another guy that I was supposed to fight, and he kind of backed out and kind of left me out there. So... The promoter was like, yo, this would be a much bigger fight. And I actually saw Kimbo Slice fight March 26. And I was like, hmm. Hold okay. up. Hold up. You 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 know we're going to go there. I mean. You're going to say it or I'm going to say it. This is our platform. This Come with it. Platform. Name names. Come cool. on now. They, they what, what, the, per, the, per, the person that backed out? So whatever, I'm just saying. The, nah, the I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't, like, don't, yo, don't want to shoot on the person that backed out because there was You're a bunch of other. Him? There was a bunch of other names that Dude, how came. How's Kimbo before. Slice Jr.? He didn't have an opponent, and he he's boxed one time. That's what I was. That was going to be my question. He's boxed I, one time, and so so, so MMA so, and boxing different. And that's he's a great, three that's, wins, three losses in MMA. That's a that's a great great segue because my question and my comment was gonna be basically you know we know the lineage and the legend of of his pops you right know what I'm saying? really one of the first viral videos this nigga knocked a motherfucker's eye out the hand like yeah. remember the remember how they was joking about how Mike Tyson did Mitch Green Kimbo Slice did that <laughs> shit for real. Yeah, that shit, you seen the red and the dangling and all of that. To this day, I wonder if he ever got his eye like gently, like son. Like, what again. you do with that? What yeah, you nah, he came. He came back on TV. He was very contrite though. After who the dude that got his shit knocked out? Yeah, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch. Mitch came. No, back. no, no that's Mitch Green, Green. Like, the guy that uh, Kimbo oh, Slice. Oh, you know, yeah. like, I don't know. I don't know. Relocated his eye. Look, them niggas back, back around in yeah. South Central. He probably just duct taped that motherfucker back. In. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But check this out, and and this is what I'm saying because look, you're right, like. You know, I box a little, we do the little thing here and there, you know, training and everything. My thing is this, and I, I don't I don't expect that, but check this out. Let's just let's just say this. Like, uh, how many times you've been punched in the face? Um, a lot in the last few months. A whole lot. You know what okay, I'm saying? Because in the like, last few months, you've been punched in the face a lot. Mm -hmm. How many times he's been punched in the face in the last few months and before that? I mean, probably a lot too. But here's the thing: Am I expecting to knock him out? No, no it, it's three rounds, three one-minute rounds at that. Am I, I expecting think to hit? win? Don't think I'm not saying you win. I'm just saying, like, you gotta, you gotta no. turn into a dog, bro. Like, you yo, gotta, no. So this oh, turns into it. this turns into keep a punches and bunches kind of thing, landing, getting more points, and actually shocking him. Because I'm sure he's like, oh, this is the guy from Dish Nation. I got this. You know what I'm saying? And I've been taking this shit serious before I knew I was fighting Kimbo Slice. Like, yo, even I, what I, I could, tell, I could attest to that. I yeah, because like, yo, I, you don't see me at the same food places no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, my clothes is fitting different. I feel like yeah. I'm landing up painting full. My body different. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I've been putting in the work and like, you know, and, and purposely sparring with people who are tougher than I am. Like yeah. I've been the, the guy I've had to spar with the last two times. God bless that guy and fuck that guy at the same time. Cause like, <laughs> yo, this guy could hit. God, yeah. he can hit, but I can hit too. So right. it got to the point where we were both kind of afraid of each other, you know, like by the time we got to the fifth round. So here we are getting ready to do three one-minute rounds, and I've been sparring like seven three-minute rounds. So my cardio is going to be there because that's what a lot of people fumble. That's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't give away no secrets. Don't give away no secrets. Yeah, I, mom's the word. But, yeah, but you know, but yeah, but I, I'm not taking this light. I know everybody is one punch away from either winning or losing. Um, You know, like, you know, get in, get out. I got a question for you. What's the, uh, w it, it, whether it's sparring or, it's, you know, somewhere else, what's the worst punch you've taken? Um, Last Thursday, <laughs> the, the, the same guy I was just talking about, I haven't been caught, like, and I've taken some shit since I've been in there. But my <laughs> man caught me so good on the chin Ugh. that, like, my body felt like a spring. And I had, I had, <laughs> he was going like this? Yo, I, I had to take that Kaepernick knee for a second. <laughs> and I and I got up. If it was a fight, I was up before the 10 count, but I've never felt that before in my life. You know, yeah. like how like you know, we walk around like yo, I ain't never seen my own blood. Like, 
I've never seen my own blood, like in, in that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but to like feel that, like, whoa, this was different. Because I thought the guys I was sparring with before was even better. And but they all brought something different to the table. Like, you know, sparring, you know, like, all right, cool, right. this guy has this style. All right, this guy might not be a puncher, but he can move. Or this guy is like a slugger. You know, everybody brings something different. And the fact that I was able to like take those shots and walk through them, I'm like, yo, if I could withstand that, this little well, three minutes I gotta deal with, you know, I ain't gonna say it's gonna be a walk in the park, but I feel nah, like I'm battle this, tested. I think this is also the part about not only withstanding it, but you got touched there, so you know though. Protect yeah. that spot yeah. again, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, you got, absolutely. You, you got like, you got the that that part is like calloused yeah. over in your brain. Like, okay, what I don't want to do <laughs> is feel like uh slinky again. So yeah, gotta, that, we, that we, felt unusual. You gotta be slinky the whole situation defensively. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> know, just like. but, button up, keep it tight, and you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and find your spots, man. Like, and, and it's been a great learning process. I've learned a lot about myself. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a maniac sport. And after June 11th, y'all can have this shit because I'm ready to get back to the arts and entertainment. Be, um, and you know, and I might still continue to be involved from like a like a bro, you know, a broadcast. You know, like I wouldn't mind being a commentator. Yeah. But you kind of gotta know when shit different. Like it, it, yeah. shit different. It, like it, you gotta dig a little deeper once you crack you cross that 35 mile marker. Right. That 40 mile marker. You know, yeah. you gotta move a little different, man. Shit that, a little slow. You like old man Logan. For sure. Cause when it's 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 interesting that you said the hardest you ever think you've been hit was last week. Because in my mind, I'm like, that's crazy. But then I'm like, damn, that's that's different. Ain't nobody punched me in my face since I was probably about 21, 22. So I don't even know how that would affect this body and this. You know, Dang, yo, like it's going it's into yeah, my that's, first that's sparring deep. situation, that was like the biggest thing on my mind is like, yo, can I at this age take a punch? And then after you get punched in your face and you didn't die, they're like, oh, I guess I can. <laughs> right. Can I hit back too? And then when you realize that you can and like cat's nose is bleeding and, you know, like, Dang. wow, you like, you know, like baby Huey strength. Like I felt like I should have been able to eat lunch early. So, so that first one, but so check this out. When we talk about like, all right, we taking that punch, right? Now when we hit get that punch, our neck turns, our spine turns, down here turns, all this turns when we get that punch, right? And whether it knocks us out or not, and what we doing, we doing all this. The next day, we feel all that, you know, period. On both sides, everywhere through your whole body, right? Is I'm absorbing it different because, like, my chin didn't hurt the next day. I was good. I didn't have a headache or nothing. It was just oh, a it wasn't good, your chin. It followed too. <laughs> it was just a it was just a good clean. Sh but it was more so, it was like my elbows and arms. Like it felt like you're stopping a moving car with your arms. Like yeah. when you like got to throw yeah. so many punches. So that's yeah. been the biggest recovery thing for me is just getting my arms back together after like a rigorous day of sparring or like a day where like my trainer's like throw 500 hooks with each arm and then 500 uppercuts with each arm. It's like, but it's the end of the workout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you already kind of spent, but you know, I get to heal up for the rest of the week, going right. fresh on Saturday. That's the info right there, man. Be sure you tap in and uh, well, yo, I will take I, your, I, your wait, prayers. I got, I got one, I got one more real quick. Like, so okay. You, you, have you watched any, if you watch any tape on him, you don't see him. Fight. Absolutely, That's what I was gonna ask. That's Absolutely, gonna ask. like I watched him fight in purpose. I mean, in purpose, in person, and then I also watched oh, okay. like the tape just to see what it was. And it's just like, okay, why would anyone hold their hands that way? Like, yeah. you know, like right. I, I, don't give up no secrets. Don't give up yeah. no secrets, bro. Just, I just want to know if you, you know, if you, you know, what's the game plan? How you gonna go in? If you, you confident like that? And and before we get off, you know, hey Dave, before we get off, I gotta give him my Teddy Atlas, bro. Come with it. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Head crack. You're going up against somebody who's the sire of a legend, the scion of a legend, of a fist of cuffs legend. But you're you're gonna have to dig deep, dig deep and pull it out of yourself and get it going. And bring it to this guy and know all the things that you can do because you, you're going to crack his head. Head crack. <laughs> That's what you do. And this is how we're going to do it. And you have to dig. 
Find it within yourself. And this is straight from Black Teddy Atlas. <laughs> Light skin Teddy Atlas. <laughs> crack. Going against Kimbo Slice Jr. Here we go. My man. Here for it, yo. Yeah, Another yeah. active trophy is on the way. Yo, this has been a vibe. <laughs> we got to do this in person. Like, yeah, you know, for like, sure. Find for sure. a, Whenever, find a spot and get, it, and get it rocking, man. For yo, sure. man, for this sure, has been man. a vibe. Um, yo, man, thank y'all so much for having me. Yeah, and, man. yo, man, continue success on the podcast, man. This is Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. Hey, man. So one more thing, you know, before we roll it up and, and kind of, you know, move on. Um, So we wanted to kind of do something different with the format as far as interviews. You know, we, we, we went into, you know, the promo stuff and, and, and just kind of the background. So mm -hmm. did you have any kind of topics or any questions or like something something you wanted to kind of like talk to us about or ask JD about or, you know, whoever, like, like, you know, we kind of give you the floor to maybe, you know, bring up something that you want to, you know, rap about for a few, um, something you, you think is interesting, something you think is, is, is noteworthy, you know, let well, us know. You know, I'm really shocked at the, uh, breakup of Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey, but I'm also not shocked at the breakup of Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey because, uh, you know, like everything's manufactured and we got to stop celebrating this manufactured bullshit like people don't really be in relationships things be lying about shit they don't gotta lie about it's, <laughs> it's just weird you know what i'm yeah. saying like you yeah. know it, it stop being weird like when can people start being real again and just be yeah, just be real you know yeah. what i'm saying like yeah come on i, I get yeah. it um maybe yeah. um I, I mean obviously you know six degrees i'm like kind of like right there yeah, we went uh, to high school you know, with the same know, place as Mike B. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't kick. And they it worked with, on the wire together. Yeah, I don't oh, that's kick right. With, yeah, I don't kick it with little bro like I used to, but you mm. know what I'm saying? It's arms reach, and you know, uh, uh, I see what people saying because, like, I know a lot of my little brothers from the wire and all types of stuff that been in like those these types of relationships where you talk about everything is for publicity. Let's just say it, and blah blah blah. You know, I ain't going to put everybody on blast because, you know, that's not my place. Mm -hmm. However, since we're specifically talking about, you know, Mike, Lori, you know, um, I mean, like, it's funny how, you know, everybody kind of had like, you know, these preconceived notions of, you know, how Lori was. You know, we don't know much about Mike. You know, everybody thought Mike was either in the white girls. Then then he was flirting with his stylist that was fixing his closet. And then now he done got with a. A black woman and now he don't like people just you know just keep rolling stuff down the hill and just figuring it out homeboy is just doing his thing you yeah. know what I'm saying? i don't think he really bothered it's what it is yeah it was going to be publicity anyway so i figure you know they figure why not use it and no, I, I hate that narrative bro. at all yo jay i hate that narrative like oh michael fuck with mike. the, the, mike's fucking anybody who's interested in mike like as most men do, like you know, and to the chicks that were mad at Mike for not being, guess what? You would have never met Mike. Who he learned that from? His daddy and his brother. He was minding his goddamn. Listen, he was minding his damn business. I, I, I wish, I, I wish I would give as much of a fuck about what another grown man doing with his dick than some of these people. See, guys don't care. It be the women who have no shot that be caring. Like yo, you would have never been in the same store as Michael B. Jordan. You never stood a chance. <laughs> Bro, I but look, I you say this the all same time. Like, look, we ain't look, shooting at the same baskets. Before. Like what the average the like nine out of ten women can walk outside right now to any guy. It don't even matter, and mm -hmm. they can walk up, and it's a it's a seventy a better than seventy percent chance that if any woman walked up to any guy and said, "Would you like to be with me right now?" She's gonna say, "Yeah." Let the most it could be Chris Hemsworth. He's gonna find a woman. But it's not nine out of ten. Right. And he might find like one. She might be like, yeah, you can take me on a date. I'll let you kiss me up. We can do all this stuff. But nah, we don't have the same dynamic to where we have the same even attraction to each other. And beyond attraction, we don't even have that same detachment. Because men, we be like into it till we not. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? It's like, and, and, it, and it happens at the, the, the snap of a finger sometimes. Like sometimes you just got to yeah. blow your nose wrong. And it's like, you know what? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, it's also one of them situations where you know they have an age gap. So, you know, he's he's one of the most desirable dudes in the world, and it's it, you know somebody who maybe is kind of in his space. 
age wise might be able to kind of understand in that industry because that's how they go on. But she's younger, probably a little more insecure. This dude is giving 25 to 35. Yeah, and then also too, when you look I mean, at the, no the tree what. that the apple fell from, like far as like the 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 moves and the manipulation, I don't want to throw a whole family under the bus. But however, it's just like yo, like yeah, it's it's a weird situation. You know what I'm saying? She ain't no like, regular twenty five, man. Nah, I'm I'm saying, neither one of them are regular age that of the of the age that they are. But I'm just saying, yes, he is. We, we know. Come on, man, my name's Art High. He's from the city. We know he he just. He just came up. He experienced I, what it all I'm this as it goes on. What I'm saying is he want different things. She probably want different things. She He's was born something. into where she at, though. That's my point. I mean, either way, she she's still, she's yeah, still that, at she, a different She acquired level. that late. Huh? She acquired that late. Like, she wasn't born into the... Right. the right. Luxury. So that's, that's different for... I mean, even still, she's still 25 experiencing some of this shit for the first time. At t by the time he's 35, he done went through all that already. And these are people on different planes mentally, spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Emotionally and shit. And at the end of it, it's like she might be insecure about some shit she don't need to be insecure about. He might be thinking towards the future that she ain't really caught up to. You know, it's, 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 it's all kinds of things. But either way, I feel like I agree with crack as far as like, like who cares? Like, why is it our business? Why does that shit have to be a story? Um, why, why do they go? The weirdest shit is how they keep involving Steve. Like, don't ask me if I got a daughter and she fucking with some dude, whether it's a famous nigga or not, I promise you the last thing you ever need to come and talk to me about is my daughter's man. Get the fuck out of my face with that <laughs> shit. No comment. I'm going to slap the shit out you. Don't ever, ever bring nothing up about the nigga that's piping my daughter down to me for any reason. That's just, that's the weird shit to me. Why yeah. is that a story? Why are you, it's already bad enough they clown this nigga for the shit he wears on, <laughs> on Instagram and shit. It's like, why are you, like, he like, man. Yo, people be fighting for relevance. Because, well, listen, I'm, I'm going to get cursed because. out in three different languages. If I don't get out of here, I got to get these kids to this movie screening. Good. Man, listen. But brothers, we got to do this again. For, for, for sure. Ready. For sure. For sure. Right. No country is shout out, man. Do what you got to do. Shout yeah. out to No Country, man. Yo, my man JD, my man Dave, they putting it down. Yo, double digit episodes for your head top. That's how they moving it. Uh, I can't wait to see it when it's like four digits. You know what I'm saying? It's happening, man. No Country. Peace of love, y'all. And yo, continue success. Peace. Later, y'all.